How's it going fellow Guardians? Christmas is over and we are back to business. We have more info on the mystery box, how to unlock the Platinum Starling ship, exotic ghost, new forged weapon, black armory lore pages, catalysts and new exotics dropping from the forge. If you find this useful a like rating would be greatly appreciated and if you're new don't forget to subscribe for more Destiny 2 news. So. If you have been keeping up to date with everything Mystery Box related unlocks by now, you will have 3 locks unlocked with only the 4th remaining. Well due to a credible data mine, well I say credible but after the disastrous lack of accuracy for the Black Armoury, I will just say take it with a grain of salt, but it won't hurt to be prepared. It seems one of the requirements for the final key will be to hand in a rare bounty which for some has been extremely rare and will not drop. For these to drop, you simply have an RNG chance when you hand in a bounty for it to drop. It's as simple as that, there's nothing more to it. I've just had my second drop now, so I'll be holding on to mine just in case you never know. So if you got one, complete it, but don't hand it in and hold on to it. Next we have the Platinum Starling, the new exotic ship. You need 100 frame completions, which is trackable in the triumph section, which you guessed it, it doesn't even tell you what you're getting as a reward. Why? Who knows? But annoyance aside, this is what you need to do. You can also get frames that are not powerful in order to increase this progress. It doesn't need to be a powerful one, it simply needs to be a frame. So augmented weapons simply won't count for this triumph. The exotic forge ghost shell has been data mined and will likely appear in a few weeks but it is in the database, so maybe with Niobe Labs or Bergusia Forge. After all, the flavor tech does say Bergusia, so who knows. However, early jam is the likely candidate we will be able to add to our ever growing collection of pointless ghosts. We have a new forge weapon this week, a sword called Striker Shorehand. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm not even making this stuff up anymore, I think they're just running out of names. It does look like Izanami's burden, but honestly my first thought was the Sword of Omens, the sword Lionel uses. No idea why mind you, maybe I'm secretly missing Fondercats all of a sudden. Maybe? Possibly? Probably not. Black Armoury lore pages have been dropping from the forges and seems to be the only place they drop from. It seems they will drop win or lose and the fastest way to get them is to afk for a minute and lose and if you've seen people afking in the forge this is pretty much what they're doing. This is most likely the fastest way to actually get these for those that must have everything ASAP. If you are however planning on doing this make sure to do one of the following two things and not be a douche. One drop your power level to be solo match made. If you're below a certain threshold, Banji has since ninja patched the fact lower levels were sneaking in. If your power level is low enough, you will be match made solo. This way, you do not cause other players grievance. And number two, simply change your PSN or Xbox Live date and match solo. Then just continually AFK until your heart's desire, until you have everything. However, please, please, Please do not AFK while others are there. We asked for matchmaking for so long. Let's not give them reason to remove it from future content. I've already been in games where I had to leave. Some idiot was AFKing and dying and I'm not prepared to do the work while they AFK. It's already a problem in Crucible and Gambit. Forges are endgame content and if we continue to cause others grief and enough complaints are made to Bungie, they will simply exclude this from future content. Let's work together to make sure this does not happen. So if you do want to go the AFK route, put a bit of work in and get into a solo instance. If you see that you're in with other players, pick up that controller and get to it. In regards to Catalysts, DMG tweeted that they are planning to re app the free Catalysts from the faction readies that people may have missed in Season 3. The Graviton Lance, Sunshot and the Sweet Business. These are from Season 3, we're in Season 5 and there's still no fix for these. However, do not expect them to be available during the Season of the Forge which is Season 5. At this point, simply adding them to Strike this pool would be fine, but what do I know? I mean it's been 2 seasons now and they still haven't re-added them into the pool. 
the ones that got it before have had the luxury of having them for a while. Season 4 I got, but Season 5 just add them into the strike pool. There's no reason to do this. It's clear that they have no idea what they're doing with factions, and no idea what they're doing with trials, and keeping these catalysts away from people is just plain bad. Finally, the Le Monarch exotic seems to be dropping from any forge as long as you have a powerful frame. It does require a powerful frame in order to get this to drop, and from my experience it seems a high drop. I got two in two weeks, so good luck if you're going after this one. This week, if you have multiple characters, you get three chances at a powerful frame, and that means three chances at the exotic Bow Le Monarch. Well, that's pretty much everything for this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Remain legend.